Hey guys, it's Dana and I'm happy to be with you. We're all in this together and I want to give you a few tips about safely using your face masks. Whether the face mask is disposable or reusable, it's really important you know this. I have been coached on how to use these face masks, masks by a medical professional. I am not imitating that I am a medical professional. I am just simply sharing information that I've been given. And I hope to help a few of you, a few more of you, to stop the spread of this COVID. So it's been advised by the president um, and the CDC that we begin using face masks. Well, not everybody can get their hands on material. So whatever you're using, here's some great tips and inspiration. And so first of all, before I go in a grocery store, I've been eliminating taking a purse. I pop a credit card with me or I have it on my phone with the Apple Pay and I am done. Less contact is better. I put on my gloves in the car and I put in my mask and I head in the store and do whatever I have to do. And when I come back out, I actually have wipes in the car and I've been wiping down the packages and the bags before they go into my car. Which brings up another point. If I touch a door handle with my hands that have the gloves on or that have been in the store, again, wipe the door down, that, that door handle down with a disinfectant. You have to not leave it on surfaces. So once I get the packages wiped, the handles wiped, and then I'm ready to not make another stop, I'm using a reusable mask. Therefore, I'm gonna take my mask off and I still have the gloves on. I'm going to use minimal contact to take it off, working from the sides only. So I'll put this on. Pretty much as much as I can, I'll take it off without touching my face, you'll note. And I have a bag in my car, it's in the back seat. I open that bag, I have it folded down like this, and then I drop my mask into it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and tie that mask. I still have my gloves on. Tie my mask into the bag. And I have a couple of choices when I get home, which I'll follow up in one second. I'm then going to invert my gloves, never touching my skin and simply pulling the gloves off, inside outing them. And I have another trash bag in my car for those gloves. End of story. I then still sanitize my hands. If I opt to let this bag sit, it would be three days is what they are suggesting to have any clothing that came into contact, potential contact or definite contact in a bag for up to three days before you touch it and put it in your wash machine. If you're going to put it in your wash machine right away, then you're going to need to again, glove up. You're going to need to open the bag. Make sure your wash machine is open before you do all of this. You would then open the bag like this, pop it in. You need to use warm water. You need to use regular detergent. Put it through the washer, then put it through the dryer. That is how you will work with this. When you are done putting this into the washer, this bag needs tied up. The gloves need taken off again. Careful not to touch yourself. Your hands need washed with soap and water. What I've seen are people taking off their, um, their non-reusable masks. These masks are not reusable. Or they go back after they were in one store, take the mask off, drop it in their car surface somewhere, and then they go to the next store and they put the mask back on that they've just touched. You all have the chance of getting those droplets somewhere on your body again and spreading. You have to throw those masks out. So my suggestion is this, if you are using a disposable mask and you have more than one stop that day, you change your gloves, leave the mask on. Do not touch the mask from the time that you put it on until the time that all of your errands are complete. Then when you are done, you take that mask off and throw that mask outside in a trash can so it never enters your home. Again, washing your hands, even if they were in gloves. You do not take the face masks on and off while you are out shopping because you can put that bacteria, the droplets, somehow transfer to your hands and then onto your face as you tighten it and make adjustments because we know these masks don't fit perfectly. So this is Dana. I hope this tip helps you. Good luck. Be safe. Be well. We're all in this together. 
To learn how to make face masks, check my website, how to make sanitizer and sanitizing wipes are both on there as well and many great recipes. See you guys later.